大家好，我是陈老师，欢迎大家一起来乐学中文。Hi guys, this is Joy Chen. Welcome to join me on learning Chinese with Joy. 今天我们要学好多中文。今天的目标有 ：The objective today is to say your name in Chinese. 用中文说你自己的名字。Understand the pronouns of first person, second person, and third person. 了解如何用我、你还有他。Recognize and write nine Chinese characters. 要会认并且写九个中国字。Use transliteration of names to remember Chinese characters. 利用音译来记住中国字。And appreciate the Chinese culture of naming. 了解中华或者是华人取名的艺术。Let's get started. My name, 我的名字，我的名字，你的名字 ，Your name, 你的名字，你的名字 ，The same. 他的名字 ，His name or her name. 他的名字，他的名字。In Chinese, we don't really distinguish him from her or his from her. So, 他的 can mean his or her. And the same thing when we say he, okay, 他 she, 他 the same. 你叫什么名字？你的名字叫什么？请问大名 ，basically they mean the same thing. But when you say 请问 it's like a more polite, literally meaning. May I please ask your name, or may I ask what your name is? 我的名字叫 Please fill in the blank. 我叫。我是 again. The expressions are very similar, or you can say they are identical. 我的名字叫陈才体。我叫陈才体。我是陈才体。你们可以叫我陈老师。You guys can call me 陈老师。Time to learn Chinese characters. 的的 neutral tone, d e the neutral tone. It has two components. On the left hand side, you will see white, white like the white rice, and on the right hand side is a spoon. So basically, this is my rice. I scoop it up with my spoon. Using a spoon to scoop up one's white rice. The, 一，二，三，四，五 ，white, white. 六，七，八 ，a spoon. Use my spoon to scoop up white rice. The, the. 我的 my 我的。你的 your， 他的 his or her。我的名字叫，我是台湾人。So basically, when you introduce yourself to your friends, you would mention your name and your nationality. So my name is Joy Chen. 我的名字叫。陈才体 I'm from Taiwan. I'm Taiwanese. 
我是台湾人。And maybe you talk about your profession. 我是老师。I'm a teacher. 我是大学的老师。I am a teacher at a university. 我是长荣大学的老师。I am a teacher at a CJCU. 长荣 Christian University. 我是长荣大学的老师。Name 陈才体。Um, at the end of November, we would invite our good friend Professor Shen, a Chinese painter and calligrapher. To teach us how to make Chinese painting and write Chinese calligraphy, and this, okay, is written by Professor Shen Shen 老师帮我画的陈才体，名字，我的名字叫陈才体。In the Chinese tradition or custom. Family always comes first, so Chen is my family name. 是我的姓陈 Given name comes last. 才体陈才体 And this is my name card. Name card, 名片名 is name. 片 is like a, a piece of something. So well. This is a piece of paper bearing my name and my profession. So, 名片 a name card. Okay, and here, if I may, you may have noticed that the same Chinese pronunciation can mean so many different Chinese characters. So, in order to avoid confusion, we always add a little bit more information to explain what our Chinese characters are. For example, 我姓陈，尔东陈，尔 means east, 东 means east, because 陈 can be divided into two parts, the ear and east. 名字是彩体，多彩多姿的彩，体育的体。It may be a little bit too complicated, so you know, forget about it. <laughs> Or if you really want to know, I explain to you in class. Mean, remember to divide the Chinese character into two parts. The first part is night. The top part, don't you think it looks like a moon? Xi, the moon, refers to the night and mouth. So basically, it means in ancient times, at night when it's dark, you have to say your name to identify yourself. I guess that's you know. The purpose of having a name. So use one's mouth to say one's name under the moon. Ming. E. R. Sun. The moon. S. O. Liu. The mouth. To say your name under the moon. That's your name. Zi, Chinese character or word. It has two components. Remember the roof of the house. That's right. I remember the little child. Well, when we were little, when I was little, we had to practice. Chinese characters <clears throat> in the house, or you can think,、uh, well, a child is learning to write in the house. Child, 子 as the child in the Chinese character, 好 and the house is like a 家 Remember the pig in the house. 
zi, si sheng zi. A child is learning to write in the house. Zi. E, R, sun, the rooftop. Si, Wu, Liu, the child. Jiao, again, can you see the radical? Mouth to call or to be called or to yell to make a sound to scream. Jiao, it has two components. On the left hand side is a mouth, and on the right hand side it looks like uh, you know you are you know screaming. So the saliva is spreading everywhere. Okay, open one's mouth to call. Jiao. Jiao. Let's practice the order of the strokes. E, R, sun, the mouth, the saliva, si, wu, jiao. Now let's build your sentence. What the? 名字，我的名字叫吉米。我的名字叫陈才体。吉 ，We talk about.、Uh, Um, we are gonna learn some naming culture in Chinese, right? So, well, I don't want to say that Chinese people are superstitious, but we do believe in good luck, and we do believe that、uh, you know, by saying good things frequently, then the good things will happen. So, I guess that's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? So. We name our children or our parents name us, you know, by using those fortunate or good luck Chinese characters. At least the name has to sound pleasant to your ears. So number one, Ji. In ancient times, this Chinese character is used very frequently because everybody wants to be lucky, right? Everybody want good fortune happen to them. Ji. Again, when you want to remember this Chinese character, divide it into components. Divided into the smallest parts. So what can you see? Very good. Mouth at the bottom, and who can speak the most fortune, fortunate words? Who can say the luckiest words? Who a scholar? That's right. So, shi means a scholar and mouth from a scholar's mouth. Okay, you can hear the fortunate words. You can see the or you can hear the auspicious words. Ji, lucky words coming from the mouth of a scholar. Ji, ji, er sheng ji. Let's practice the stroke order. E, R, san. Remember, the first stroke is longer than the third stroke. Ji, okay, because this part in Chinese means a scholar. Shi, if the first stroke is longer, sorry, if the first stroke is shorter than the third stroke, then that's dirt. It won't be good if your mouth is buried in the dirt. I don't think that's a scholar. I think that's a dead person, right? <laughs> that only happens. You know, so please pay attention. And mouth, si, wu, liu, good, good luck. 
吉吉他 ，guitar， 吉他。米 ，I guess the rice 米 is the staple food for most people in Asia or for most Asian, right? So 米 very important. Try to imagine the rice. Okay, at the center is the rice stalk, and on both sides are the rice. Okay, so here, this is the rice plant, and this is the grain of rice. Mi, San Sheng Mi. It does resemble the grains of rice, doesn't it? 来试试看哦，练习写一下。Let's practice writing me the Chinese character. Me, 三声米，一，二，三，四，五，六，米，三声米 ，rice， 米，饭。After it's cooked, it's fine or me fine. Me fine. My name is Jimmy. 我叫吉米 The first way to say your name, 我叫 The second way, 我的名字叫吉米 The third way. 我的名字是吉米。Press match and recognize. Again, please match and recognize. He calls what name? His name is what? He's Jackson. He's a American. He's a singer. He calls what name? His name is what? Jennifer. Jennifer Lawrence. 他是美国人 ，She's American. 他是大明星 ，She's a superstar. She is a big star. Remember, 大 Remember, 人。他是谁？他叫什么名字？他是哪国人 ？Which nation is he from? 他做什么工作？ What's his job? What does he do for a living? They are who? They are called what name? They are from what country? They do what work? We, you guys, you, they, they. Country names: Thailand. Thailand, the Philippines, Philippines, Indonesia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Vietnam, Cambodia, Cambodia. Try introducing yourself, and this is a sample for you. 大家好，我是陈老师，我是台湾人，我是长荣大学的。老师，很高兴认识大家。Thank you so much for joining me. 
，谢谢大家上乐学中文课，希望大家努力学习哦，拜拜。